Breastfeeding, yay! No, it has not been easy this time. Actually, this time has been really, really hard. Um, I'm on baby number four, and so you would think that after breastfeeding a couple times around that you've worked out all of the kinks. But this time has been completely different. I have been so frustrated this time around, and I just, I want to keep breastfeeding, but it's been a struggle. So I... I nursed my other babies and I exclusively breastfed. I never pumped extra bottles out or anything like that. And I was pretty much a stay at home mom with them, except for a couple hours here and there that I'd go to work. Nothing big, part time, simple. This time around has been different since we've had our last baby and then this baby. Uh, it's almost a nine year age gap. And um, I went to nursing school in that time and I'm a nurse now. We work we work a lot of hours and long hours, really long hours. So, you know, my my days by the time you hit Tuesday or Wednesday, sometimes I'm already into overtime versus working five or six days a week. We have a lot of hours that we put in. Um and I work nights. And that makes it even ten times worse because I'm a day person. I know that there's stuff going on during the day. So I'm trying to sleep, but at the same time, my brain is saying, wake up, let's go get some stuff done. Or spend time with your family because it's Saturday and you're asleep and they're not. And instead, you work at night where they're all home sleeping and you're sleeping when they're all having fun. So the shift is awful. I've been trying to get off nights for a long time. Um... And I'm definitely going to switch to a day shift as soon as the opportunity comes around because this has been hard. But as for breastfeeding, um, I can't pump every two hours. My son eats every two, two, three hours without fail and it's always three ounces at a time. And I've tried to extend him out so that I'll make more and then pump less, less time but make more milk. And it hasn't worked out so well for me. So I can't pump every two hours at work. I can't leave my patients unattended every two hours so I can go pump. I mean, I, I work on an ICU unit and we have really sick patients. And you can't expect all the other nurses to always drop what's going on with their patients to watch your patients while you go pump. Now, my work has been amazing and they're so supportive of me and they have no issue taking on my load that there's still a responsibility that comes to, you know, your patients and your fellow coworkers and two hours of pumping constantly is just, it's too much at work. I can't do it. So I do pump about three times each shift and our shifts are about 13 hours by the time it's all said and done with like shift report and how that works inside of hospitals. Um, but when I was pumping, I was pumping out exactly what he needed to the, the last drop. And all of a sudden I went from pumping exactly what he needed to my milk supply just dropping a lot. And he, he was eating three ounces every two to three hours. And all of a sudden I'm only pumping out two. And that was it. No matter what I was doing, I couldn't seem to pump out more. So here I am losing ounces every single time I pump versus what he needs and I'm already behind every single time and my milk supply in my freezer just was depleted because he needs to be fed and so at this point I'm thinking well a fed baby is a healthy baby and it doesn't matter how this baby is being fed as long as he's being fed and healthy and so I talked to the pediatrician about it because I was wanting to start him on formula and he said, well, are you wanting to still breastfeed? And I said, well, I do, but I'm not making the same milk that I should be. And I'm doing everything that I can, but I'm not making enough this time. So he suggested I get on the Reglan. And I called my OB and I talked to my OB about what I talked to the pediatrician about. And they agreed that they think Reglan would be a good option for me. So I got a prescription for it. Um, if you don't understand what Reglan is, it is something for your GI. It empties out your, your gastric juices, your stomach contents quickly to prevent like acid reflux, basically. 
That's what it does. But it also connects to the dopamine receptors in your brain and like clogs them. And then it forces um, prolactin to be produced. Prolactin produces breast milk. So breast milk is actually a side effect of taking the medication. It doesn't cause you to produce breast milk because that's not what it's prescribed for, but it is a side effect of it. Um, so I started taking it and I started taking it at the prescription that was given to me. And I started having some serious GI issues. And one other side effect is like anxiety and panic attacks. So they don't recommend you take it if you have a history of anxiety and panic attacks. And so when I talked to the doctor about it, I was like, well, who has never had an anxiety attack before? I mean, everybody has anxiety in one way or another in life at some point. And she's like, well, let's try it and see if it works for you. Okay. So I try it and I did have a panic attack while I was at work. Like worst time ever to have a panic attack is while you're at work. And I worked through it, tried my best to get through that night, but that was the worst night ever trying to get through basically an hours long panic attack. And I was like, well, crud. And then I was having all of these GI issues. My stomach was rolling so hard. Like you could hear my stomach from across the room, just mad and it hurt, my stomach hurt. It's like, okay. So I started cutting down because the way that it works in your chemicals with your brain, you can't just stop the medication completely because then you're gonna dry out, which complete opposite of what I'm trying to do. So I started weaning back until my stomach felt fine. And then I left it at that dose for a while. And then I started building up the dose a little bit and a little bit more until I got to the prescription dose that was put on the bottle for me. That worked out so much better. And I wish I would have tried that from the beginning, started out small and worked my way up instead of going with the actual dose and then having to go backtrack and then move back to where I needed to be. But lesson learned, that's okay. So I've been on it for about a month and now I pump out about four ounces, which is awesome because he needs three. And so when I started taking it, I was pumping out only two. And I was started at three, like I'd said, dropped down to two. And then I got back to where I needed to be for him plus an extra ounce. So it's worked out really well for me. I mean, I'm not like stocking my freezer up with crazy amounts of milk. And I, I maybe would be able to if I wasn't working, but if I was like a stay at home mom, that extra little bit all the time would be great. Um, because when baby starts cluster feeding and that kind of stuff, if I was a stay at home mom, I could just constantly nurse whenever baby wants to. I can't do that at work. so. Then there's extra milk in the freezer for my husband to take care of the cluster feeding when he's about to go through these growing spurts. Um, so it, it's there and available now. It's just not like an extreme amount. I'm not like asking people for freezer space or anything, but it works. It's worked well for me. Um, if you're struggling with it, with, with breastfeeding and your supply, it's worth looking into. It, it helped. Um, it did exactly what I needed it to do. And it was an option for me to be able to keep breastfeeding and not give up on it. So if there's anyone out there that's dealing with a supply and they're at the end where they feel like they need to give up, talk to your doctor, talk to your OB, talk to your, your child's pediatrician and get their opinions on what you think and, and see if maybe it might be an option for you, but it worked for me. And um, I'm definitely thankful for the doctors that saved me from giving up because now I am successfully able to breastfeed.